Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this brief tutorial, we'll explore configuring email relay settings within Salesforce. To begin, let's locate the email relay setup page. You can easily find it by searching for relay in the setup menu. Once there, you have the option to set up an email relay. In the host section, you can input either an MX record or a unique host. Opting for an MX record offers redundancy, as our MTAs will cycle through any hosts listed if one is unavailable. Alternatively, you can specify a single host. Next, you can specify the port for TLS settings. The most commonly used port is 25. In the following section, you can choose a port and the desired TLS setting. The required verify setting is the strictest verifying all aspects of TLS handoff and certificates. If TLS negotiation fails, email delivery will not proceed, which is the downside. However, we recommend using the most restrictive setting possible. TLS preferred allows delivery even if TLS isn't negotiated known as opportunistic TLS. After creating the email relay, additional steps are required to enable routing. Navigate to the filter for the recipient and sender's domain link at the top of the page. Here you can create a filter for your email relay to route mail effectively. Multiple email relays can be created and associated with various filters for flexibility. By default, the email filter sends email from all user domains to all recipient domains. This includes all mail. Select a relay, activate it, and save it. Wildcards indicate all domains, but you can specify domains as needed. Following email relay setup, it's advisable to conduct an email deliverability test. Navigate to the email deliverability test section in setup and specify an email address. The test sends emails from both your email relay server and the MTA for system emails. Upon receiving the email, it's recommended to check the headers for useful information. If you require access control lists, consult our knowledge base article on Salesforce IP addresses and domains to whitelist. Ensure to whitelist all email relay IPs for best practices. Bonus. As a bonus, we're offering discounted Udemy courses, Salesforce Platform One practice exams, and Salesforce Admin practice exams. Check out the links in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content like this. For further assistance, visit www.salesforcemamba.com.